Welcome to day 18 of my 30 day security challenge. It's the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. Check out the blog at snubsy.com for a full tutorial and also check out each video in the playlist over at youtube.com slash tech thing. Today is all about OAuth and third party app permissions. I know that sounded weird, but it's a good thing to know in relation to security and privacy. So first off, what is OAuth? It's an open standard protocol that lots of websites and companies implement to easily tie your secure data from one account to them. It's not made to validate your identity, but to give you permission to do stuff through a website. Most commonly, OAuth works like this. You'll go to a website and you see a login with Google or login with Facebook or login with XYZ company button. You click on this button and a little pop-up appears that says this company will receive the following info from your Facebook Facebook profile, your name and your email address, or something similar to that. Then you just click OK and those permissions are granted. There's a few other ways OAuth can be implemented, but generally they all look similar to that. OAuth is really nice because it usually doesn't require a password, but it allows you to grant access to your info on applications. So if you have granted OAuth permissions to a bunch of third-party apps, it might be hard to remember which ones have access, and they keep that access until you revoke them. So for example, if you used your Facebook to grant permissions to an app or website to view your name and email address, it will know your name and email address until you revoke it. Changing your password on your main profiles won't necessarily remove the OAuth permissions either because it's made to simply be convenient. So you need to go into each profile and revoke anything that looks dodgy to you or that you no longer use. To revoke third-party apps from being connected to your main accounts, log into those main accounts, the social networks or email profiles, and choose the profile setting that says something like permission, access, or applications. Go through the list and check revoke or remove for each one that doesn't need to be there. I've compiled a list below in the notes on some popular profiles and direct links to remove the third-party apps for your accounts to speed up the process for you. But it would be wise to figure out how to get to these menus as this is something that should be done on a reoccurring basis. Once a year should be good enough. Now day 18 is complete. Tomorrow is all about cleaning up your social network privacy options part one. Yeah, it's a two-parter. But first, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist and to skip ahead on the 30-day security challenge. Again, I'm Shannon Morris, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 19.